Kabam didn't think we would see this, but we did. Hi everybody, welcome back to a bit of a strange video and uh, that, it, not a strange video, but I, I thought this is quite bizarre and something I, I wanted to talk about, but hey, been busy. Uh, I'm recording this on Monday, there's a lot of stuff I wanted to go over information wise, do a guide for Alliance Wars Showcase, but also do my final piece of uh, Seven Star Deathless Guillotine. This evening when I finished work, it was like, get 8.2.6 done, get 8.3. No, yeah, 8.3.6, 8.2.6, 8.1.6, 8 get it done. And I kind of invest my time, my units into it a little bit because I've been doing Alliance Wars Showcase and this uh, without any stash. But it is so important to, be, to do. I mean, look, we know that if you've been to the forum thread about Winter of War, you'll know there's going to be a special objective. It was a bit of a loud clap. Um... There was, there's going to be a special um, objective, and I felt I need to get this done. So, yeah, I'm going to do a video on this um, in, uh, later on, but I worked hard in order to get this done um, as quickly as possible. And I want to test out this champion as well in Incursions, which I talked about. Um, did someone as well message me? I think somebody messaged me about Serpent. I think somebody messaged me about this champion in Incursions. Eh, whatever. Right, um, look, this video is focused on Aegon deals. This is surprising. I don't really know how I want to cover this, but obviously I want to take it from a perspective of looking like, hey, if you want to get yourself an Aegon, and if you want to use the champion in Necropolis, and you don't have the champion, this could be a solution for you. However, it is going to be at the rarity of 6-star, it's going to be at Paragon. Are there Paragon players out there that don't have that champion? Maybe. I don't know. I would like to predict the future. I cannot. Um, otherwise, that would be... I'd be going, Oh, there's about uh, 10,000 people without a uh, Aegon. Uh, there might be a few people with the Aegon. Uh, like myself. There may be some people kind of wondering about uh, getting the champion and ranking him up from start to right to the very end. And uh, that's what we're going to do in this particular sector of the video right here. Now I'm just typing, you can be going like dee, 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 uh, like that because I wanted to uh, just get a bit of a, a costing for you because that's the thing, you want to find out the costing. And do you know what, it's not ridiculously bad. That's that's the thing about it, it's not ridiculously bad uh, for the rank up perspective here. Uh, granted, you'll probably have to spend a lot more when it comes to ISO, but uh, that may do the job a little bit there. Um, but from a perspective of how much it's going to cost you unit wise not that that's that's just a random thing there um if we just kind of enlarge that kowalski magnify if we then uh auto sum that uh oh look it's hashtags who knew it uh no it's twelve thousand two hundred and fifty units you have to make that decision is it worth it to you i would recommend first of all it's guaranteeing yourself the champion. It's this is the unusual thing when Kabam do this, right, right there, when they allow you to have the champion. Now you could have awakening gem, that's fine. You use it on that. You could even have rank up gems, that basically would bypass a lot of spend on this champion. If you're looking to number one get the champion, three thousand five hundred units. Okay. Would it cost? Would with those particular units? Could you save for selectors towards the end part of the year and guarantee yourself the champion? I don't know. Like you, you have to make this gamble. And if this champion is going to make a difference for your roster, then go for it. If it's not, hey, I'm sure you'll go. Fine deal, Kabam. Not interested. Uh, move on with your life, so to speak. I'm just going to quickly dip onto the forums because I want to find out. Um, I want to find out if anybody else has mentioned this particular um, champion on the deal. Because it was something that was mentioned in a post. But no, nobody's mentioning it. I don't know if this is something like it's just been o overshadowed by uh, Alliance Wars Showcase. Which is a bit I can't stand the timer I really can't it does make me just a little bit kind of you know a little bit a little bit you know what I mean you know what I mean but yeah uh, back to the subject at hand 
Are you going to select? Are you going to get a selector to get this champion anytime soon? No. Is it a case you could open up a load of six stars if you don't have the champion already? Possibly. Are a lot of Paragons uh, got this champion? There is a good chance. I would if it was something like, you know, Cavalier Thronebreaker. I'd say there's a good chance you don't have it. Uh, for Paragon, very difficult. Mine was. Uh, it's hard to kind of like give a comparison of where I was in the game because it's very different. Because six stars were. If you just joined the game in the last two years, I've probably picked up a lot more six stars than you. Even with ch churning, churning, turning now into a non-spending player in the game, which was obviously two years ago is when I made that decision of change. And of course, was always hunting this champion. Now at the time, if there were selectors, I'd be able to select it. If you're new to the game and Paragon, there is a good chance you don't. And if you're looking for an option, and yes... Aegon is not the quintessential option for Necropolis. There are various smorgasbord of options. But if you are looking for an option of this particular magnitude, which may have some use down the line. I'm not going to say it's good for all content. It could be an incursions option. It could be good for Necropolis. Go back to a bit of Legends. Um, maybe some other content. It's tough because I think a lot of people just break out this champion for like proper end game content. Not the other, not you know, not the other stuff like that. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean with that. Um, but yeah, I would say this is just going to be like an each to their own type uh, type thing. Do I think it's a bit of a funky deal from Kabam? Of course, it's a bit of a funky deal from Kabam. Uh, it comes at a very weird time with this. I'm just going to up my mic because it's a bit lower than I wanted to. Um, but yeah, like it comes at a bit of a, a wonky time because, <clears throat> excuse me, you look at it like. Why is this being released? Is it a case that a lot of people don't look to the one shots and just look to build this champion from a spending perspective? Would you spend around it? Again, hard to say because from a free to play standpoint, you could just purchase this right now. I mean, I could purchase this right now if I didn't have it, but I've done Necropolis, um, Valiant, and a non spending player in the game. So, um, <clears throat> look. It's, it's doable save yourself maybe some other units like going okay well i'll just number one pick up the champion and then number two um go to things like your glory store go to different pieces of content you haven't done need to do side quest main quest do it because you could get the rank ups for, for free possibly with a with a with a but because you may be like getting the certain resources that you need. You may have things like tier six basics. You may not. You may have a tier six class catalyst. You may not. And that's something to bear in mind. You may select when it comes to like content down the line. Do bear in mind you could get the champion and then look at things like Winter of Woe. And Winter of Woe will give you rank up materials as you go with it. So don't necessarily think you should be obliged to spend your units on the other rank up bundles. You may just look at it as an opportunity to, to get the champion. So potentially make a saving or potentially not make a saving. And that's been it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, look, people may get it. People may not. In any case, thanks for watching. See you soon. Check out some other content. Bye bye for now. Bye.